Waypoints are a semi-autonomous feature within the GreenSea software that allows a pilot to plot out multiple coordinates and have the ROV maneuver to each coordinate on its own at the click of a button. A DVL is required in order to use the Waypoint feature. To create a Waypoint course, activate all the auto functions. Doing so will stabilize the vehicle. Once all the autos have been activated, activate station keeping. The button to activate station keeping is located here. When station keeping is activated, a waypoint of your current location is created. Station keeping also creates its own mission under the mission column. Click the waypoint defaults button. Doing so will open a new window. This window is where the parameters are set for how the vehicle will behave during the mission. Waypoint name sets the naming convention for each waypoint. Waypoint color sets the color of the waypoints. Waypoint tolerance sets the size of the semi-transparent circle that's around each waypoint. When the vehicle contacts the waypoint tolerance, considers the waypoint achieved and will progress to the next waypoint in the mission. For a long mission in open water, using looser waypoint tolerances allows the ROV to move faster. But in a tight space, or where the path of the ROV really matters, it's best to use a smaller tolerance. The heading row sets the parameters of how the vehicle's heading will behave throughout the mission. If nothing is selected, the vehicle will face the waypoint it is moving to. If a long line is selected, the vehicle will face the waypoint it is moving to and do its best to stay along the line. If fixed is selected, simply enter the heading degree that you would like the vehicle to face, and the vehicle will remain at that heading while maneuvering from waypoint to waypoint. For this example, a long line will be selected. Waypoint Z value sets the desired depth or altitude of the vehicle during the mission. Waypoint speed sets the speed of the vehicle during the mission. The maximum speed value is 3 meters per second. Click Update. Doing so will save the parameters for the waypoints. To activate the speed, heading, and depth parameters from the waypoint default menu, turn on the waypoint speed lock, waypoint heading lock, and waypoint depth lock within the Autopilots tab. To plot out a waypoint course, click the waypoints button. This will allow waypoints to be added by clicking on the map with the mouse cursor or by using the touchscreen. It's important to note that your waypoint course will create a separate mission from your station waypoint. To start the mission, deactivate the hold button, select the proper waypoint mission, and then click Execute. The vehicle will now navigate on its own to each waypoint following the parameters that were set in the waypoint default menu. It's possible for each waypoint to have different waypoint parameters. To change the parameters on an individual waypoint, after plotting out a course, double-click on the waypoint you would like to edit. Doing so will bring up that individual waypoint's edit window. It's important to note that the difference between this window and the waypoint defaults window is the ability to change the coordinates of the individual waypoint. For this example, the depth on waypoint number 2 will be changed to 1 meter. Click Update. Doing so will only update waypoint number 2's parameters. Next, the depth on waypoint number 3 will be changed to 2 meters. Click Update. Doing so will only change waypoint number 3's parameters. Turn on your speed, heading, and depth waypoint locks. Deactivate hold. Select the proper mission, and then click Execute. The vehicle will now pilot on its own to each waypoint while changing its depth at waypoints 2 and 3.